TV Squared has launched a cross-platform, multi-touch attribution platform. What does that actually mean? It means that all those people that trusted us to measure their linear are now thrilled because we've added OTT CTV measurement as part of the platform. Um, how does that help them? I think uh, you know, Andy, that everybody in the marketplace is talking about a single platform to buy inventory and manage inventory. And what TV Squared has brought to market is a single unified platform that allows you to measure all of your performance from within a single platform. Single pane of glass, 76 countries, where there's data available, we can make it happen for our advertisers, but also for our publishers. So tell us a little bit how it works with respect to ad tagging and why it's different than a panel or ACR. Sure, uh, great question. So um, there have been others that have leveraged ACR technology. We do too, so uh, we work with ACR technology when we're doing data-driven linear, um, whether that be deterministic, back to the household. But for the OTT stuff, we wanted to go about it slightly differently. And some of the people that heard about our extreme press, our extreme reach press release, uh, which I think was like October last year, um, what we've done since then is added on probably 20 or so publishers now. Why is that different? That's different because we wanted to be able to capture 100% of every impression served on OTT and CTV. Rather than just depending on a matched panel, which may be six to eight million, if you're only capturing OTT that airs on a particular smart TV, you're probably getting about 1% of the United States. There's 126 million households. We wanted to be able to tag at the ad server so we see every single impression that gets served. And because we've already tagged the website of the advertiser, we can immediately tie that back to performance and see reach, frequency, performance, and full impression-based attribution. Everybody's talking about going above and beyond just typical uh, metrics of reach and frequency. That said, we know that reach, frequency, performance, impression, you know, that's, that's the new language that everybody's using. What TV Squared solved for is the incremental reach question. So, and what do I mean when I say that? Um, a lot of our linearists, if I can coin a phrase, want to use OTT to reach a different audience. They're interested in understanding how many additional activations did I get as a result of leveraging a streaming service and running a campaign on um, one of the big streaming services that's available. Feels like there's a new one every week. Then we have our direct to consumer advertisers who are digital natives who understand, okay, I really am comfortable with the OTT landscape, but actually my investors are pushing me to use linear TV because we all know that that's the best way to get giant scale and reach. So what TV Squared is solving for is saying, you know what, you can put both of those together in the same platform platform, we can have household level data plus OTT data and you can see what your incremental reach is, what your optimal frequency is, how you're targeting the right audience, are you reaching the right audience and is somebody actually taking an action because we've got everything tagged so we can see all the way through the customer journey. So how do the publishers work with you and work with their Advertisers, do the advertisers get direct access to the data or how does that, what's the service uh, scenario? It really depends on a case by case basis. And interestingly, what we've seen is because TV Squared is GDPR compliant, um, because we're in so many countries around the world, uh, we've actually seen a lot of people come to us because we can secure and manage data uh, in a secure and compliant way. Um, so in terms of how we work with the publishers, we get a list of macros, we understand uh, between the relationship what we can and can't share, we will tag the ad server so that we will see all of the impressions. So literally we go publisher by publisher, we have advertisers that come to us that have 27 publishers on all year long. So we will take that and we will manage the measurement of that and present that through our platform in hours rather than weeks. I think, you know, when we talked back um, around Extreme Reach release, we talked about frictionless onboarding. We have a ton of buy side, 
that are managing multiple different relationships with multiple different streaming services. That's a lot. You know, it's a big overhead for them to manage when actually they're supposed to be focused on driving revenue for their brand. Um, so we come in and say, you know what? We've already tagged all these publishers. We're going to send them a TV squared tag. They light it up because we've already got the performance metrics from the first party data on their website, on their app. We tie the two together. It's available in the platform. It's always on. Typically takes a couple of hours to get that done. And they can start to see um, not, they can start to see cross-platform, so who's performing better, um, and they can also see by device, so it's truly multi-touch. Great, Joe, and we're going to see you soon at the Beat Retreat in Puerto Rico. I'm really, really happy you're coming, and um, I wanted to ask you, in addition, of course, to sharing the developments at uh, TV Squared, what are the conversations you hope to have, and what do you think some of the issues uh, that we need to solve and some developments that you might be looking forward to? I uh, can't wait for the Beat Retreat. Thanks very much for having me. It's going to be awesome. Uh, what a lineup in terms of people that are there. I think the conversation is exactly what we've talked about today. The holy grail is cross-platform, multi-touch attribution. It's being able to measure incremental reach. It's making sure that our advertisers and our publishers can reach the right audiences. I think the interesting conversation for 2020 is um, somehow how we can all be frenemies and how we can actually bring performance and impressions to the forefront as the new currency when we talk about TV. Um, I think there has to be some kind of sharing of data, so some kind of acceptance that there's going to be standards within this industry, um, but also looking ahead to how we can make this a true marketplace. And what I mean when I say that is how do we trade programmatically um, for media based on availability. So if we've got performance and we've got full funnel attribution and we've got one platform that allows us to buy and sell inventory, how do we join that together and make the voice of the customer the strongest voice? So make sure that advertisers can get a positive return on investment regardless of whether it's on linear, it's on streaming, um, how can we make sure that they're getting not only a great experience but a positive return on investment? I think that needs to be the conversation. We need to bring it back to what the marketer is truly asking for and put them back at the front of what this industry needs to take it forward.